It's been a huge year for the Guild of Fine Food and the Great Taste Awards. Record number of entries, more judges than ever, and of course this remarkable new building. They've been donning their hard hats to build it. Let's find out from the man who's made it all happen, John Farrand, MD of the Guild of Fine Food. This was a rather dusty, rather unloved 3,000 square foot warehouse, which we transformed over six months and with a considerable amount of investment into this 5,500 square foot dedicated tasting and judging facility. It's also the home for our magazines, exhibitions and training programmes. Our Goods Inn now receives tens of deliveries a day, with our team carefully checking the codes on each product and then placing the food and drink in session crates, either ambient or in our walk-in chiller. If the food needs cooking, it moves to our kitchen and is cooked with care by our team of great taste chefs. So it's not only the home for great taste, it's also the home for the Guild of Fine Food, where we house all the other activities we do. Remembering one thing, that we're always promoting excellence in speciality food and drink. The facility is incredibly impressive, and we're here to do a serious job for the nation's finest food producers. We're judging the final 125 three-star foods in Great Taste 2013. But how did we arrive at these? There were 9,738 entries, 2,524 were awarded one stars, 645 were given two stars, and a mere 125 were awarded the ultimate accolade of three stars. We called upon the palates of 405 judges, 38 of whom were specially trained food journalists who coordinated and input the judges' comments over 40 judging days from May through to the first week in July including a week in Ireland, three days at the Royal Garden Hotel in London, and specialist test centres for tea, filter coffee and espresso. And the remaining days were held here at Guild HQ. We gathered together an all-star cast on the 31st of July, including representatives from the major food halls, Harrods, Fortnum & Mason, Selfridges, Harvey Nichols and Paxton and & Whitfield. The panel of 40 also included journalists, chefs, deli and farm shop owners and food bloggers, reflecting the best of those in the food and drink world. Six tables with six judges on each, unlike the 50 previous tasting days when the, uh, the teams decided who was going to get the gold medal winners. These are already 125 three-star gold medal winners. The judges are voting individually out of 10 and we are allowing half marks. And it's the best vegetarian thing we've ever had, I think. Um, it's a little pie. The pastry is exemplary. It's a really strange thing. Yeah, I just wish they would have given us more. We, uh, we all want seconds. This I have never tried before in my life. It's an extra virgin peanut oil. I don't know where it's from, I have no idea, but it's just fabulous. This has to be sexy food, and it's orgasmic. Just hang on a minute, I've just got to do a bit of a, a nigella here. Light edge of cheesiness, of umami, of real dairy flavour. You can taste the cow's milk in that. That is just a really outstanding yogurt. It's the fennel with the salt is magical. It's just not another caramel sauce. It's outstanding. Great bread, uh, lovely treacle, molasses, depth of flavour to it. I defy people who didn't know this was decaf to, to tell. Absolutely stunning. Pastry is absolutely beautiful, not soggy at all. Really lovely and firm and crisp. Beef, stunning. It's like pure port in a jelly. It renders me speechless. It's that good. It is sweet, it's delicious, it's got iron, it's tender in the mouth, it's just wonderful. Hundred percent 
percent organic um, honey. Just got the most divine taste. So smooth. Got no sharp aftertaste at all. This is a stunning product. It's it's worth the train journey from London. It's a black currant curd. So we've just had the most fantastic piece of beef, and this is which is iconically British. And this is the iconically British cheese. It's great to see it in the final section. So no, fuck off. I'm going to taste some. <laughs> <laughs> It's naughty. It's a lovely cider on a hot day, sitting in the sun, under a tree, rather a lot would be drunk. The next day could be a little more tricky. Just wow. Tart, zingy, full of flavours, dare I say it, almost a tango moment. We had the sea spray coming through and we could feel it on our faces. Absolutely divine. I want the t I want all of these. That uh, thing here. It proves what the Grace Taste Award is all about. It's discovering wonderful things that the world should know about. So what does winning the supreme accolade for the Great Taste Award mean? Well, who better to ask than Peter Hanan of Hanan Meats. Last year, it was, of course, his Guanciale Pig's Cheek Bacon. What, a, what an event. What a night, Peter. What a year. Yeah, it started with a great night, didn't it? The year was absolutely incredible, Nigel. Um, I don't know how you describe it. It has been a real role. We've had a lot of fun, done a lot of business. We've been busy. I think the last day I had off was something like 13 months ago. What did it mean to you, as the impact on you as a business? It's immeasurable, it's, 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 it's colossal, because the prominence that Great Taste brings to you is just um, a lot more than what you get from just winning a Supreme Championship. So many people now as food buyers um, and people who are in retail and all aspects of food service, they're waiting for the results of Great Taste, because if Great Taste says it is three gold stars, you can open that and it will be wow. I've always said that if a customer rings you rather than you have to ring them, it's a different conversation. We've had um, a lot of very, very good clients, Fortnum and Mason, for example, in London. Mark Hicks, who's a long-standing customer of ours. All those things um, happen on account of great taste. We have, we, we have a great team of people and uh, everybody grows a foot when you uh, have a little bit of success. Yeah, great. And this year, uh, I can tell you now, but already, but your products you have amassed a remarkable, record-breaking seven three stars. We're absolutely blown away with, um, with, with that as a result. Um, it's a, a new product, our first time into great taste with it and it's uh, beef that we mature in a very very specific way using Himalayan um, salt, um, Himalayan salt aged beef and um, all of our seven three stars were for Himalayan salt aged beef. What would your advice be as far as resting uh, how long for? Do you know when I was younger I had no patience but see as I've got older that's taken two years to produce, it took a good five weeks to age it always rested for sort of 10 minutes or so. Well, it smells enticing. It tastes divine. It's a record seven three-star entries this year, gold medal winners. Uh, no one's ever won with Supreme Champion twice in, uh, in succession. Could this be the year? We started out with 9,738 products. We whittled it down to 125 three-star gold medal winners. Now we're down to 15. One of these is going to be the Supreme Champion 2013. I'm one of the 10 judges. It doesn't get much more exciting than this. You can sit there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and wait until the sun goes down. You can... And it's made of apples, right? So it's good for you. One of your five a day. <laughs> OK, we're all voting individually. The scores will be tossed up at the end. Out of 20, a maximum of 20. I like this, I've given it a pretty high score. At this level, they should all be good. Talking of salmon, like perfect size for canopy. Beautifully made, with this wonderful kind of handmade quality about it. The, you know, there's a real zing, a zestiness mm -hmm. to see bucks on it. It's sort of, ooh, you know, it wakes you up, and that's really quite fighting with the sugar to me. And I, and I think that's a good thing because otherwise it'll just shoot your tongue off. At least you'd get a sorbet with something delicious as a dessert that's almost ice creamy without the cream, so, you know, calorie watching. I think this is fantastic. And I think the general silence around the table. Again, I think the pastry in this is excellent because it is firm right the way through and it's so unusual these days to get a pie where the base is not soft and soggy. It's actually quite firm. I've eaten a lot of pies in my time. <laughs> it shows. Hot, hot calling kettle black. <laughs> so, Bruce, we've discussed, we've debated, we've stamped our feet. We've voted. 
Inside here is the Supreme Champion 2013. Really exciting. Over 10,000 products this year and down to the final 15 just a few moments ago we decided which is going to be the winner. I'm desperate to know. Can I have a look inside? No, you can't. Cheeky thing. No. Away you go. Peter, the Supreme Champion of last year. How exciting. And before that, your big mucker from down the, the road, George home. McCartney. Absolutely. This year, you're giving me a lift. I am. Come on. Now, where's your... Stop. Where's your tractor and trailer parked? I'm going to ring for it now. <laughs> oh, good lad. Now, last year, Peter, your good mate, George McCartney, Supreme Champion winner, gave me a lift to the awards in his rather smart motor. I think it was a roller nudge. Do you want to come with me this year? Oh! <laughs> oh, yes! Come on, let's go to dinner. Have you seen Bob Farron since last year? No, somebody told me he'd retired. But I wouldn't worry about Bob. He'll be shining somewhere, don't you worry. <laughs> Let's go, Pete. Get rid of this guy. Who was that? I don't know, some geezer. Is he in Lord of the Rings? I think so. I think it's Gandalf. Our 9,738 foods and drink products became three, two, nine, four winners. That's only 32% of food and drink entered. You have to earn your stars. 3294 breaks down as 2,524 one stars, 645 two stars and 125 three stars. That in turn became the top 50 foods, which gave us the regional and trophy winners. Those producers amongst you now covet their golden forks. But, ladies and gentlemen, but, the 15 highest scoring foods on that final judging day, according to our 41 experts, were put to an even more demanding final panel of 10 judges. It's tri tricky to criticise at this level. The marginal difference between the foods was slight and the scoring incredibly tight. The panel scoring independently of each other, but with some heated debate, decided upon a supreme champion. As we saw in the video earlier, Nigel, for safekeeping, looked after the golden envelope. And Bruce Langlands from Harrods, who sponsor the supreme champion, will join us on stage now. Those highest scoring foods were the 15 foods at the Last Supper. What were they? Salt age rack of Glenarm shorthorn beef. A Greek style yogurt. Acacia honey, rosemary and orange zest gelato. Sea salted caramel with fennel pollen. 28-day dry-age Longhorn Cote de Boeuf. I got it right. Stornaway Water Biscuit with Hebridean seaweed. Mushroom, leek and smoked garlic tart. Sea buckthorn and lime jam. A medium dry cider. A pork jelly. A pear sorbet. Cold pressed rapeseed oil. Gin infused with elderflower. Steak and Stilton pie. And a Shropshire blue cheese. They sat down, they chewed the fat, the discussion was heated, but they still managed to re retain a smile and remain friends. Let's see what happened. That's the first time I've eaten seaweed and enjoyed it. It's a very good cheese, um, but I, I think for the texture, I would go for just a, a, a fudgier texture, something that coats the mouth a bit more. This is, this is what Britain's brilliant at, is fantastic beef like this. I, I keep saying someone's nicked England. We've been, you know, been crap at everything for so long. We've had a beautiful summer. We've won every sport we've ever played. Both weeks of it. <laughs> Already being grumpy about it. We have good food. And now we're tasting some of the best foods that we've been good at for, I don't know, a couple of millennia, if not longer. 
they could have been tempted, couldn't they, to put a bit of cinnamon in yeah. or a bit of clove. But this is just port juice with sugar. <laughs> yes, it's not, I'm not cooking with alcohol at all. <laughs> I'm just having a little glass of port juice. <laughs> Oh, it's got something in it. It's a teaspoon. Of course it's got something in it. <laughs> it's been on pollen. It is, isn't it? It's amazing. I'd happily eat my way along the fat without even eating the meat. It's just so delicious, so sweet, so nice. I keep eyeing up, eyeing up the bone going, oh, that's going to be all right. <laughs> I think that's really nice. Yeah. It, 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 the difficult things with pies is the, the crust, and the crust is excellent. And the filling is pretty good too. It's a really brilliantly built pie. Mm. You know, it's fantastic with, and the mushroom is soggy, and you're getting, as you say, as you're chewing it, each flavour is released sequentially, which is a, which is a real pleasure too. You say more than anything, but wait till you've tried this. Well, sea buckthorn is. Zimmy! Hello! It certainly is. And this is a, this is a wow moment. But what I love about this is it smells of apricots, kind of really warm, sun baked fruit. And then you put it in your mouth and it's like. Bam. Somebody knows about varieties and chose a Williams pair because they're the best. Um, the combination of very good crisp pastry, the meatiness of the mushrooms, but the dribble hasn't come out of them and ruined the pastry. It's a really good thing. And it manages to be vegetarian, which is a puzzle. Look at my plate. It's all gone. I'm liking this a lot. It's a stunning product. Beautifully made with this wonderful kind of handmade quality about it. Perfect. That tastes like it was made this morning. Yeah. It's got a real nowness about it. How, how it's so worth putting really some effort fun, yeah. and some TLC into, into making a really yeah. simple product. I do agree with you utterly because what you're seeing there is a product that's been damaged by mass production yes. for years, yes. for years. Yes. And now no one has any expectation a product like this can be this yes. good. You could pop that on top of an apple tart, you could do yeah. so much with that. Put fruit berries through it, eat yeah. it on its own. It's a stunning product. Just, it's glorious. It's everything that Britain, which is famous for its dairy products, should be celebrating. Yeah. That's another revelation to me. What, compared to the other piece of beef? Oh, I prefer this without question. Yes. Yeah. The other was good, this is great. Yeah, the, other was, the other was great, this is the greatest. Right. I'm not going to tell you which one's my favourite, but I can tell you this is just the gift that keeps on giving. It's gorgeous. A beautiful, rich, fresh and totally versatile product, just like myself. <laughs> The difference between being supreme champion and not being supreme champion in 2013 was 1.5 points. And that was out of a possible maximum score of 200. This was extremely tight. Bruce, for goodness sake, put us out of our misery. Can you tell us who the 2013 Great Taste Supreme champion is. And the winner of the Supreme Ch Ch Champion Trophy 2013 is Mary Bell Dairy for the Greek Style Yogurt. Catherine was trying to leg it all evening, but we said, no, no, we'll get your car, we'll do all the stuff. Uh, remarkable evening. Just tell me about Mary and Belle first. Uh, Mary is a Holstein and Belle is a Jersey. And that's where the name came from, <laughs> quite simple. These were founding cows of the dairy, yeah. So, and how long have you been on the go as a company? 10 years, 10 years. We were farming for five generations on the farm for 35 years. Um, 10 years ago, it got desperate, so we started something new. Well, absolutely, and I know that you juggle that with family life as well. Yes, very much so, yeah. Well, I think 
we're just trying to hope that you might keep the diary free for the next few days because I think you're going to be one very busy person. Uh, but what does it mean? I mean, to you, at the moment, obviously, you're in some state of shock, understandably, but to you and the family and the business, what it is at the moment? Um, it means that everything we've put in for the last 10 years hasn't been a wasted journey, you know? <laughs> Well, it was an outstanding product. It really was. Our judges were completely blown away by it at every stage that it went through the process. Uh, and a lot of people tried it, and it's absolutely outstanding. So congratulations. You are the Great Taste Awards Supreme Champion. You and the family, and all, a remarkable product. You should be very proud of you. 2013. Thank you, Catherine Manny and Mary Bell. Thank you.